What's up, YouTube? You already know who it is. It's your boy, Son Knight, and welcome back to another reaction video. If you have not seen me before, please subscribe and leave a like on the video. Um, I do reactions to anything, including TV shows. So without further ado, um, today we're reacting to 10 stars you forgot appeared on Supernatural. Um, without further ado, um, I'm sure there's a lot of stars I have forgotten that appeared on here um, because they have done 15 seasons. Like, So I'm sure there are some fans, uh, I mean stars that I forgot appeared on here. And this is by the channel Miss Mojo, by the way. Go check them out. Well. The Winchesters met them? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 stars you forgot appeared on Supernatural. They turned me. Hey, those fangs. And I walk these streets a little six string on the back. Are you a fan of Supernatural? Click here to sign in with your Google or Facebook account and take the new trivia quiz on WatchMojo.com. It's pretty hard. But get it right and you could win a collectible box from Culturefly, loaded with exclusive Supernatural toys, accessories, and apparel. Click here or follow the link in the description. I want it! <laughs> For this list, we're looking at the actors and other celebrities whose appearances on Supernatural often slip people's minds, either because we forget or it happened before they were famous. We won't be including larger recurring roles, like Lauren Cohan's run in Season 3, as those are pretty memorable. Are you going to kill me? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Number 10, Caleb Worthy. Famous for his role as quirky oh, yeah, dope Dez on Austin, Austin and Allie, yeah, Caleb Worthy honestly, had a considerably yeah. less charming role on Supernatural, where they played a young man named Denny, who, like several oh, yeah. other residents of the town, here. see their wishes so. come true. Denny's wish is that he becomes invisible so that he can spy on women while they're naked. We're yeah. pretty sure that kind of behavior would be a no-go on the show that made him famous, it, considering it, it aired on the family-friendly Disney Channel. Put on some pants. I haven't seen that dude in a long time. And stay. To be honest with you. Visible. Oh. Number 9. Marie Avdiropoulos Known these her. days on another CW show, The 100, as Octavia Blake, Marie Avdiropoulos show, had a small so part know. in the fourth season of Supernatural. Her character is Taylor, a popular girl who finds herself ridiculed after rumors of her alleged sexual exploits make the rounds at school. After a less than it girl tries to comfort her, Taylor rebuffs and insults her, prompting the second girl to brutally hey, murder Avdiropoulos' character after being possessed. Yeah. This leads to the Winchesters investigating the killing. Yeah. <laughs> Thankfully, the actress gained better survival skills in her current show. Number 8. Paris Hilton I'm so glad you're awake for this. This is going to be remember. huge. Yes, really. This infamous reality TV star slash actress slash model appeared as herself on Supernatural. Sort of. Several fans of Paris Hilton are shocked to encounter her and become even more so when she <laughs> kidnaps one of them. Boy, as it turns out, movie. she's actually a forest god called Aleshi, who takes on the appearance of its victims' idols to ensnare them and feed on their deaths. Awesome. It also takes the form of Mahatma Gandhi and Abraham Lincoln. Is that Gandhi? Yeah. Dude, squirrely. The Leshy is finally killed by being decapitated by Sam. That's I'm not hot. Fight Number seven, Alden Ehrenreich. What? Young Han Solo himself was in Supernatural? Yep. A long, long time ago in a season far, far away. The first one, in fact. Alden Ehrenreich or, appeared in the second episode of the one. series. The solo actor appeared as no, Ben Collins, whose older brother goes missing in the woods after being targeted by a Wendigo. They went this way. Together with the Winchesters, Ben searches for and eventually rescues his brother, making for a reunion that was probably more satisfying than Solo's performance at the box office. Number 6. Dylan Minnette the star of 13 Reasons when Why, he, Dylan Minnette's role in Supernatural also up. sees Maybe him reaching out to a troubled scene. girl. Minnette plays Danny Carter, a young boy whose new home appears to be haunted. Okay, mm -hmm. he's young, that's why I didn't recognize him. Yeah, I remember him being It's okay. I just didn't know that was him, so. 
He's a lot older now, so... I'm Danny. However, far from the usual sort of vengeful spirit the Winchesters run into, this girl is actually still alive and has been living behind the walls for years, making it a rare episode without supernatural events. Like his current yep. show, Minette's character is too late to prevent the girl's death as she's too far gone, or at least too murderous, to be saved. Number 5. Candace King Before she gained recognition on another supernatural CW show, The Vampire Diaries, Candace Akala, or rather Candace King these days, appeared on Supernatural in a flashback. Yeah, we all, she plays we all Amanda, a girl who briefly dates Dean at one of the many high schools the Winchesters attended. It's kind of hard in the midnight that. screening of I Spit on Your Grave at the Cynodome. Uh, I can't. I have a curfew at 11. After catching Dean cheating on her, she gives him a piece of her mind, while also ruining his chances for popularity among the student one, body. You spend so much time trying to convince people that you're cool, but it's just an act. We both know that you're just a sad, lonely little kid. Wow, Candace's popularity like as an actress has only <laughs> risen since she appeared on the show. Lonely. Number 4. Finn Wolfhard One of the current young stars of Stranger Things, Finn Wolfhard encountered some pretty Was bizarre he? and upsetting occurrences on Supernatural prior to the 80s sci-fi show's premiere. Wolfhard plays Jordy, a boy whose parents oh, okay. are both murdered by his babysitter, who has had her soul removed. Yeah, I remember. You alright? Give me a second. No, long, long time. Ah! Wolfhard only has a few scenes, but he does a great job He's at like playing a range of emotions, from relief to fear to complete shock at the loss of his parents, demonstrating the young actor's talents, which we'd go on to see even more of later on. You're gonna survive this. People are going to help you. There's Aunt Cassie. She comes at Christmas. Number three, Corey Monteith. Dude, you're cheating. No, you just suck. This late actor, best known for his role on Glee as Finn, uh, is another star who appeared way back in Supernatural's second episode. I'm Monteith sure played Gary, time, a young man who also went on the ill-fated camping trip that was attacked by a Wendigo. Yeah, Gary is one of those yeah. who does not make it out alive, though, as he's brutally killed off screen by the creature after being hung up in its lair. Despite the small part, we're positively gleeful to get to see any more of the departed actor's work. Number 2. Ashley Benson Known recently for playing the surprisingly nice Queen Bee Hannah on Pretty Little Liars, I, I Ashley before, Benson so. played a far less kind part on Supernatural. I don't know, I don't know Benson guest starred as Tracy, an immortal show. witch trying to resurrect a demon by murdering and sacrificing people in bizarre ways while masquerading as a high school student, even being willing to kill her own brother to accomplish her goal. Did you see what he was doing? Did you hear him? Yeah, I don't remember. How sloppy his incantation was? Wait, is that the girl that plays Amara? <laughs> Benson's witchy character gets her comeuppance when the demon promptly kills her after its summoning, and the part likely prepared her well for portraying yeah, a pretty Amara. little liar. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Not Amara, the other demon girl. <laughs> Mommy, can I have ice cream with mine? I'm proud of you, and you're gonna knock him dead on Monday, and you're gonna get that full ride. I know it. What would I do without you? Crash and burn. Oh, so many chances. How are you feeling? I feel good. Cured, I guess. Jolie Benz. What are you doing here? You know, my mom, she oh, went in to talk to the Reverend. Number one, Sterling K. Brown. Prior to gaining fame and acclaim for parts in Black Panther and This Is Us, really Sterling K. Brown played a far more villainous part on Supernatural. Brown appeared as recurring human antagonist Gordon, a fellow yeah. hunter acquaintance of the Winchesters so cool. wow. who clashes with them over how to like tackle creatures. Like a, he develops a grudge against them. One. You want to stick that thing someplace else? I'm not a vampire. Yeah, that's right. I heard you guys in there. What do you know about vampires? How to kill them. No, seriously, bro. That knife's making me itch. However, ironically, in pursuing the belief that the Winchesters are evil, Gordon becomes evil himself after he's turned yeah, into a vampire. Gordon may only be a minor villain, but Brown's intense he's performance is one that deserves a second you know glance if you've forgotten about it. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other yeah, great clips from Ms. Mojo, and be sure Make to subscribe, sure subscribe and ring the channel. Um,
And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe to here so you can see more videos like this. Um, without further ado, I hope you enjoyed. I am out. Peace.